Welcome to IS303. This video will show you how to download and install Visual Studio Code, which is a free open source software program from Microsoft. We're going to use this tool to create websites, to write our HTML, to write our JavaScript, and then later on we'll use that with other tools in the course. Uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is to go to this website, https slash uh, colon slash slash code dot visual studio dot com slash download and this will be the URL the Uniforce Resource Locator or uh, the website that will allow you to download this software for free. Now the purpose of this video is going to be to show you how to download the software and install it. So when you go to this website, there's different options. You can either install for Windows or install for Mac. Uh, this video will show you how to do the, the Windows version. There should be another video that shows up in our Learning Suite course that will show you how to do it for the Mac. And so what you'll now do is you'll click on this link, Windows 7, 8, or 10. Just click on that link, and it will take you to this website but the most important thing that it will do is say it wants to download this file. So go ahead and click on the Keep button, and then that will start the download process. And then once it downloads, you'll see that the download is complete. And we can click on this little arrow and Show in Folder. And you'll see the file that you have. Now what I would recommend you doing is um, you can right mouse click on that file you just downloaded and choose run as administrator. So right mouse click on the file you downloaded, run as administrator, and then this will uh, pop up another message asking if you want to continue. Choose yes. And go ahead and click OK. and then go ahead and click Next. Accept the agreement because we never read those anyway and we're probably giving away all of our children bank accounts and everything but we don't care because we want the software. Click Next. There's the path of where you're going to install this software. You might want to remember that. Click Next. There's the name of this program. Click Next. And then I like to have a little desktop icon. So I'll go ahead and click Next on that and then leave this one checked, Add the Path. Click Next and then go ahead and click Install. And this will go ahead and install the program to your system. Now what this program is, is it's just a, uh, an editor or a file editor that allows you to create files. And if we wanted to make sure that it worked, we'd go ahead and leave that button checked. And we'll go ahead and click Finish. And it's going to go ahead and launch Visual Studio Code for us. And this way we'll see it actually run. And here we are. And then what I want you to do is go ahead and create a brand new file by clicking on File, New File. And I want you to go ahead and copy in or, or type in this code. And what I'll do is I'll make this code bigger for you so you can see it a little bit better. And if you wanted to make this, this uh, code bigger so you could see it better, you highlight your code, then hold down your control key and your plus sign or the equal sign, same key and that will make that code bigger so that you can see it. So I want you to type in this code in your program that you just created. Right now it's called untitled-1. Type all of this in and let me go ahead and explain what this is. This is just HTML code that you're typing in. This symbol, the less than exclamation hyphen hyphen, starts a comment in HTML. And this is, you could go and type in your name and you could go put your section number right here. And then you close off the comment with a hyphen, hyphen, greater than sign. And so this now becomes a comment, meaning it's not really code, 
but it helps us know what's going on. Then you say this is an HTML5 document and HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language and that's just code that browsers know how to read for websites. Within a browser document, that HTML5 document, it's built into different sections. The main section or the top section is called HTML. Notice that you use a less than sign, you say HTML and then a greater than sign. This is called an HTML tag or in other words it specifies what part of an HTML file is going to perform a specific task. Within HTML we have opening tags and we have closing tags. Notice that the closing tag looks just like the opening tag except there's a slash in front of that HTML symbol. So you're just going to say this is an HTML5 document we're going to start the HTML and that will close the HTML. Within the HTML document we have two sections. We have a head section and we have a body section. The head section has an opening tag and a closing tag. And this is where you'd put things like the title of the web page. The title of a web page has an opening tag and a closing tag. Notice the little slash that says it's closing and anything in between the two tags is text that the browser can read. Then we have a body tag. Now don't worry about this right now. We're going to learn that in this course. It's called a script tag and that allows us to write JavaScript which is program source code statements within a website. In other words, we can make our website functional or responsive to what a user is doing with it. And what this is going to do is it's going to display a pop-up box. It's called alert that displays let's get this party started. And then notice that statement ends with a semicolon. We're going to learn all this within the semester. You'll understand all that code for right now. Just type that in. Then we have an H1 tag, which, which is a header one tag in HTML and a closing H1 tag. And those H tags, H1, H2, H3, H4, and so forth, specify different fonts and font sizes you'd use for text being displayed in a website. So what this file does for us, it has a comment. It's an HTML5 document. It has an HTML tag with a head section and a body section. The head section specifies the title of the web page that you'll see in the browser and then within the body we have some JavaScript and then an H1 tag that will display I just wrote JavaScript. After you type all of that in make sure there's no typos at all so be very careful about what you type in. Click on File, Save As and then you need to go and put this somewhere. Now currently it points to My Documents I'm going to right mouse click inside of my documents and choose new folder and I'm going to type in Visual Studio Code Samples and it's going to create that new folder. Now double click on that folder and right mouse click again and let's make one more new folder. New folder and let's call it first website and double click on that and now we want to name our file and we're going to call it index.html so this is going to make an index.html file in the first website subfolder in the visual studio code subfolder in the documents folder Go ahead and click Save, and it now makes that file. Let's go and run that file and see what it looks like. So what I want you to do is open Explorer. Now the way you can do that is by clicking on your little folder right here in Windows. You click on that folder, and then we want to go to the Documents folder, 
We want to go to the Visual Studio Code Samples, the first website folder, and then double click on the index.html file we just made. This will open up a browser, and if you notice, the first thing it did is it popped up a box that says, let's get this party started. Click OK, and then it displays our I just wrote JavaScript in a header one tag. And that's how you can use Visual Studio to make a website and to make sure that your Visual Studio works. In our case, that is actually your homework one. And so you can now save that file, which you already did, and then upload that to Learning Suite under Homework 1. The way you can upload that file for our homework assignments in Learning Suite is by going to our course website, go to Assignments, find the assignment you're working with, which is our Homework 1 assignment, and this tells you to do the same thing we just showed you in the video, which is install Visual Studio Code, create a brand new file. We sort it to different directories. And here's the code that we just typed in. Go put your name and section in the HTML comments. That means that back here in Visual Studio Code, you would come right here and put your name And whatever your section number is, you would save that by clicking on File, Save. And then you could click on View, Submit. And first we'd need to upload our file that goes with it though. However, since I'm the instructor, it doesn't allow me to actually submit a file so if you just click on the submit you should be able to attach that file if you need help just let myself or the TAs know and so that's how you can create your first program how you can install Visual Studio Code and how you can submit through Learning Suite